Hi everyone. Today we will try to discuss about already in the previous session we have been discussed the transient response of an series RL circuit with DC excitation using Laplace transform. So now we will try to discuss about the transient response of an series RC circuit with DC excitation or excitation is also called DC input subjected to we have to solve it generally by time domain but we are solving it by using an Laplace transform where this is also called S domain where this is also called frequency domain. So here frequency is there therefore this transformation is also called frequency domain or this is also called S domain or Laplace transform. So transient response means uh, already I told for example if you switch on a fan okay so when you switch on a fan uh, it takes some time for example you have been switched on and fan. slowly the fan reaches the required speed so it takes some time to reach the speed the speed you are going to call it as a transient state and after some time it will run with constant speed so you have been switch on the switch here so when you switch on switch automatically what happen fan will try to slowly it will rotate and it will try to reach the required speed it takes some time the time is called transient state or transient transient behavior after this transient behavior automatically will come to steady state and fan will rotate with 1500 rpm so slowly it was rotating with 100 rpm 200 rpm 300 rpm 400 500 600 1000 rpm and 1500 rpm slowly the try is trying to pick up what the time taking to pick up the when you turn on the fan what the time taken to make it run with constant speed is very very less that's why it is called four times the time constant this is what the behavior of an r c now let's try to see how it is going to help us <coughs> so let us try to consider the network like this so we are having an dc voltage and you are going to have an say a resistor <coughs> and you are going to have an capacitor so we are going to apply voltage of v volts so generally uh, this you can describe so here we have a switch and we have an resistor and you have an capacitor so here the switch was open at t minus time and it is closed at time t plus now we are going to close the switch at t equal to 0 plus so now previously the switch was open just now we close so automatically some transient it is nothing but the switch is closed so you can see here this is r ohms this is c farads all the things you can see here these are in time domain we are going to convert this into laplace transform and convert into a required Laplace transformation. So, what is the type of input we are applying is DC input, and we are going to find the current which is nothing but I of T. So, how to find this? So, this is nothing but we are applying the Laplace transform for this Laplace transform of a constraint. So, already we know that Laplace transform of a constraint is nothing but 1 by S. So, the input here is V of T, V, and we are going to get it as V of v by s and the switch is closed whenever the switch is closed it is under the action of t equal to 0 plus and you are going to have a resistor and here you are going to have an capacitor you want to write down the laplace transform of these parameters so this is directly in ohms no need to convert so this you can write down it as a 1 by s c ohms so 1 by s c ohms i mean if you multiply this capacitance into s and you perform the inverse of this so automatically this will be converted into ohms this is 1 by s can be written as j omega and this can be written as c already you know that this is nothing but you can identify as minus j x c ohms so xc is nothing but what is the value of xc is called capacitive reactance xc is equal to 1 by omega c all these are basics already know it now this is in which form s domain form so 
a current of uh, I of S means flowing in this network. So what I have to derive is, uh, we need to derive the expression of I of P where this is called the time domain current or the current response of the system and we need to get the derivation as after solving it as uh, V by R into e to the power minus P divided by RC. So this is what the required output you are supposed to get. So here you can see here this is exponentially discharging. I mean already your capacitor has been charged and now it is in the state of discharge. Once again it will try to charge. So this is a continuous action to maintain the system voltage constant. Generally to any load, if you have a load, you will connect a capacitor in parallel. So this out of the load requires the voltage that will be supplied by this capacitor. This is also called a stabilizer, like voltage stabilization also to perform, depending upon how you connect. So now the capacitor here in this case it is the case of a discharging, the expression the case of discharge. We need to derive it. Now let us try to solve this uh, problem. So now we have to derive this expression. Let's try to apply the KVL. So try to apply the a current of I of S is flowing. Current is entering a positive, leaving a negative. Entering to capacitor at positive, leaving a capacitor at minus, and the voltage is in the expression. The polarity of this voltage. So what is the type of input is DC excitation, and all are mixed domain, yes domain. So now let's try to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law inside the loop. So current is leaving or the leaving polarity of this voltage source which is nothing but V by S and current is entering at positive current is leaving. So what is this current you are going to call it as? So current is leaving or the leaving polarity voltage minus I of S into R and it is entering at positive and it is leaving at negative. And what is the polarity you are going to have? It is nothing but I of S into R. What is the value of R here? 1 by S C. You see here this is also voltage, this is also voltage, this is also voltage. The algebraic sum of voltage sources minus voltage drop is equal to 0. We have been known this. So we can write down this as, so try to pull out these negative terms to the right hand side. We are going to get it as I of S into R plus 1 by S C. Okay. So now we require the expression of uh, I of S. Therefore, I of S is equal to V by S divided by R plus 1 by S C. Okay. So when you check it out this, so this we can write on it as uh, V by Yes, divided by, I am taking the LCM for these two terms is SEC. We are going to get it as R SEC plus 1. Okay. The denominator you have S here, the denominator also you have S here, this will get cancelled out. So this is 1 by C, go to numerator, this is V into C divided by 1 plus R SEC. So we have to do the modification in such a way that the coefficient of S should be 1. So in order to make the coefficient as 1, we have to take common as RC. It's nothing but VC divided by we are taking RC as common, which is nothing but 1 by RC plus when you take RC as common, this is yes. Automatically CC also will get cancelled. So this is nothing but R by 1. If you go to numerator, it is nothing but uh, 1 by R, V by R divided by S plus 1 by RC. So this is the expression of I of S from the derivation. But we need to convert this frequency domain into time domain by applying an inverse Laplace transform. Therefore, the expression of I of T is equal to so here you are going to get as a constant as uh, V by R and since we know that inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S plus A. So inverse Laplace transform of uh, 1 by S plus A is E to the power minus A T. So what is the value of A here? 1 by R C. So E to the power minus A is nothing but 1 by R C into T. So this is very 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 important equation. So this I of T is called as a 
transient response current of an EG network we have installed RC network. So we have to find out for this RC network. And you can see this uh, expression, what this expression is saying is, uh, so this is the transient response of an RC network. You can, what kind of input? DC input subjected to S domain solution. So here, for what is this expression is saying is, uh, when you plot the curve, so this is nothing but T and this is nothing but I of T. It's already maintaining a magnitude of V by R. It's nothing but I. With some 10 amperes current is particularly known it as 10 into e to the power minus uh, t by rc so you can see this metal magnet is there and it's trying to discharge okay now it is trying to discharge okay so this is what the current you are going later after discharge what will happen after some few time it will try to charge one second it will try to discharge one second it will try to charge one second it will try to discharge this is a continuous process so the current I of T is nothing but V by R, okay. V by R into V to the power. So here, how to define the time constant is, the time constant of RC network is a product of tau equal to RC. So in this expression, we are going to get this as a V by R is equal to, I mean the time constant of RC network is a product of resistance multiplied with the product, I mean the capacitance. So here you are going to get V by R into E to the power minus V by, that is the RC is equal to tau. So this is what the expression V by R into E to the power T by T. So you can verify, already I told, you need to derive this expression, we have got the same. So this is for inductor and this is for the capacitor. So we have got the same expression after solving. If you want to have a revision, just you can go to it. So, I convert first I written in time domain. I use a Laplace and converted into S domain. Just I applied a small uh, AVL and I separated the terms of I of S. And here I need to solve it. I have been expressing this in the taking the new, I mean the coefficient of SS1. So RC has take common and I am find the expression of I of S but I need to find the value of I of T, I apply inverse Laplace. So this is how to find out the, this is the expression of transient response. Response means what output, what is the output current? It is a transient current of a RC network by using S domain solution. Okay. Hope if the video is useful to you, please like to the channel share this video to your friends those are uh, studying or preparing for the class and subscribe to the channel to receive further updates which will be like a small motivation for us to do more videos hope you will help us to grow our channel and promote to your and will also help the students to grow so thank you for your help and support yours from